Ähm, der Mörder mit den rechteckigen Kugeln. It would be very interesting to read about these, wouldn't it? I mean, this seems to be a square-shaped entry wound in the victim's forehead. She's been sitting there for weeks, on her rocking chair, with a square hole in her skull, staring at the wall, her mouth agape. Aber? That's all you got. From the half hour you spent piecing it together, all you know is, the entry wound was square-shaped. You never found the bullet. And then, another body showed up, also with a square hole in his forehead. Ein Serienmörder? Who knows? Those pages are missing. What next? Don't worry. One day. Irgendwann. Die Couch an einem unerwarteten Ort. Some assholes brought their couch outside and hung out on it. In the middle of the street, on the roof. On the hillside by the motorway. You know, at an unexpected location. They were young and they thought they looked cool on it. Mm. Sie sahen wirklich cool aus wie eine Rockband. Yes, as you've said here. Insufferable rock and roll assholes. Young people are the worst. So anyway, you got a complaint about the damn sofa or couch. Or whatever it was. Was ist eigentlich der Unterschied? They were leaving it out in all these unexpected and whimsical locations. They took it to where they also took photos of themselves on it and smoked cigarettes and drank coffee because they felt it's intellectual. Cigarette butts, coffee cups, stupid couch. You had to clean it all up and you did. So congratulations to you. Case solved. Habe ich diese Typen je erwischt? No, you didn't have time for that. These notes show that you have what is called a real goddamn job. You don't have time to be chasing down the couch assholes. You have a real job to do. What next? Also habe ich nur aufgeräumt im Grunde. Der Mord in der Shisha Bar. Murder. Tum tum tum. At the hookah parlor was a case originally assigned to an officer called Joseph Mills, who is now dead. Of circumstances completely unconnected to murder at the hookah parlor. Moment, was für Ursachen? Beaten to death by a throng of Villa Lobos gang members when him and his partner J.M., only initials mentioned, answered a call one night. It's a sad story and it isn't really represented in your case files. Stop stalling and get to the murder at the hookah parlor. Richtig, weiter mit dem Mord. Joseph Mills was on this case that he just couldn't solve. Was doing it solo. Said it was a real nutcracker. A real brain twister. Was on it for, like, a month. The captain got impatient. Shit or get off the pot, Mills. Hm. Mills didn't get off the pot. Not yet. He kept at it for a couple of weeks more. Racking his brains, running with every theory, as outlandish as they seemed. Still couldn't solve the murder at the Uka parlor. Tough case, he said. Toughest he's ever had. Moment, war uh, Joseph Mills ein guter Polizist? No, he was awful. Awful sense of humor, too. The worst jokes you've ever heard. Really rapey. Still, he'd been on it for months now. Said it was the final case said it was uncrackable that murderer vanished into thin air that goddamn hookah parlor was all he talked about say weiter okay so the case is handed to you because mills isn't getting anywhere and you look into it here's the setup a young man is found dead in a hookah parlor you know those places where you go and smoke bubblegum flavored vapor all day kann man davon high werden no it's soot and water vapor It doesn't do anything. Wirklich blöd. Yeah. So anyway, young man in his twenties found with his skull busted open, right on the floor of the hookah parlor, in the middle of the day. No one else is in there. Only client that day. In perfect health too. Some kind of movie producer. No one enters. No one exits. He's just sucking on his watermelon hookah all morning. All noon. Like he usually does. He's a regular. No calls, nothing. 
just sucking on the hookah until 1545. Then bam, he's dead on the floor with his skull busted open, blood everywhere. What happened? How can it be? Mills has no idea. Invisible assassin. Movie deal gone sour. Girl at the counter did it. Nothing fits. Eerie. Man just dropped dead. So you go to the parlor. You see cushions around the table. Tables low, heavy, really sharp edge. Er zog an der Wasserpfeife, stand auf, wurde ohnmächtig, schlug sich den Kopf am Tisch an und starb. See? You can't even read the thing without solving it. Yeah, it was that. Turns out hookah does do something. It turns off your brain's oxygen supply. And you don't notice it until you get up to go to the bathroom. Er muss eine Menge davon geraucht haben. Yeah, he liked his hookah. Steven was his name. Und was hat er dort gemacht, sechs Stunden lang? Smoking hookah. Didn't you hear? I don't know. Trying to come up with a movie script, maybe. Anyway, that was Murder at the Hooker Parlor. Joseph Mills wasn't a good detective, and about 30 minutes has passed, piecing it together. Next. Ich werde noch einmal darauf zurückkommen, wobei ich glaube, dass wir jetzt damit auch durch sind. Not much has changed in ja. the meanwhile. A bunch of sodden papers still sags from the clipboard. Gibt's noch mehr Fälle? It takes about half Nein. an hour to piece one together. Using the system you've devised. Which one do you want? Nichts, wir sind Not durch. Much has changed in the meanwhile. A bunch of sodden papers still sags from the clipboard. Gut. Das ist auch ganz angenehm, mal was von den Würfelproben erledigt zu bekommen. Wieso ist denn das jetzt schon wieder freigeschaltet? Mit der Hinterhof aber. Äh, okay. Interessant. Ah. Homosexual underground. Maybe you should stop obsessing about your own and other people's sexuality. Feels like it's about time to do that. <laughs> you thought about this for eight hours. Not only should you stop, you should tell Kim you've stopped obsessing about other people's sexuality too. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Unless you already got him killed because oh you God. were obsessing about your sexuality. There's no way of telling from within your brain. But for your own sake, please say you didn't. Wäre das möglich gewesen? Nicht mehr auf Sexualität fixiert. Oh, okay. Alles klar. Hm. Ja, wir können noch mal gerade zur Wand, wenn das jetzt auch wieder freigeschaltet ist. Ich glaube, dann werden wir sonst auch die Konzeptbildung am nächsten Mal erhöhen. Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see here. Wow. Ist immer noch 3%. Habe ich Klamotten? Habe ich, hab ich Klamotten dafür? Konzeptbildung. Mhm. Ja. Okay, zwei Sachen habe ich. Just an ordinary wall. Nothing 17%. To see here. Ein Versuch. Warum starre ich diese Wand an? Yeah. Why? It's ja. a wall. An ordinary wall. Es ist und bleibt eine Wand. Why must we stop to look at this wall every time we pass by? <lacht> we have business to attend to. Ja, Kim, ich versuche die Probe hinzukriegen. <lacht> das war gut. Ich muss leider zum Ende kommen, deshalb möchte ich aber gerne noch zum Abschluss 
meine Aufnahme. Möchte ich jetzt einfach Karaoke singen? Ist jetzt auch egal, ob ich es dann hinkriege letztendlich oder nicht. Ich will das jetzt machen. Das ist auch perfekte Stimmung hier. Es wird fantastisch. Jetzt brauchen wir noch mal Schauspielkunst. Glaube ich. Können wir noch mal unsere tollen Klamotten anziehen. Was war das jetzt noch mal? Ähm Ach, sollen wir dafür die Robe anziehen? Anstatt der Jacke? Ja, wir ziehen diese tolle Robe an. Dazu das... Wo ist das Netzhemd? Da. Das Netzhemd. <lacht> ähm, die Krawatte. Da war doch noch irgendwas. Ist da noch Schauspielkunst? Ah, warten wir nicht auf plus 5 das sogar gehabt? Verdammt. Muss ich doch wieder durchgucken. Brille, oder? Aber nicht die, die ich anhabe. Nee, Minus. Hä? Äh? War doch noch was. Hm. Haben es wirklich nur vier Sachen? Scheinbar. Das Fallbuch nicht, nein. Das ist wundervoll. Ach, Moment doch, die Mütze. War das nicht irgendwas anderes, was wir anhatten? Ich würde gerne meinen Hut aussetzen. Oh mein Gott, ja. Äh. <lacht> Nicht mit Petit. Ah, das sieht alles ganz furchtbar aus. So, ich bin bereit, glaube ich. Ich glaube, ich bin bereit. The stage is all so. set up for your performance. Feels silent. You can hear the pellets creak under your feet. You feel a little dizzy, a little unsteady suddenly. So, uh, are you ready for your thing now? Let me know when I should turn on the karaoke carousel. Oh nein. Ja! Dresscode ihrer Seidendrache. Vielleicht sollte ich dann auch noch das andere anziehen. Also hier diesen Hut. Ähm. Kim, hier drüben, ich werde Karaoke singen. I can see that. Oh Gott, er ist bereit. Moment, das muss ich jetzt aber noch einmal ausprobieren. Was ist, wenn ich... Wo ist der Hut jetzt? Wo ist der... Ja. Vielleicht macht er es noch besser. The stage is all set up. You feel a little. So, uh, are you ready for your thing nee. now? Schade. Let me know when I should turn on the karaoke carousel. Ah, es ist jetzt zumindest mal ausgeglichen. Okay. Ich traue mich gar nicht. Ich traue mich gar nicht zu drücken. Ich bin bereit, Gart oder Gart, Gart. Ja, ich bin bereit, Gart. Starten Sie die Musik. The air oh mein is Gott. Thick with anticipation. 
Someone dim the lights as the music starts. Okay, here we go. I would often go there. To the tiny church there. The smallest church in San San. Though it once was larger. How the real may rest there. Down through the mist there. Toward the Seven Sisters. Toward those pale cliffs there. I would often stay there. In a tiny yard there. I have been so glad here. Looking forward to the past here. But now... You are all alone. None of this matters. Now, none of this matters. At all. Das war irgendwie schön. A lazy applause fills the room. You feel your hands shake as awareness of your body returns to you. Danke, uraltes Reptilienhirn. There is silence now, in the deep, where the voice came from. It has receded, to return only in dreams and nightmares. This guy really carried you. Ach, wem widme ich das denn jetzt? Skimmed. <lacht> ja, komm, wir widmen das Kim. Ich möchte dieses Lied meinem Partner Kim Kitsuragi widmen. Ich nicke dem Lieutenant zu. The Lieutenant doesn't say anything, but gives you a quick smile before turning away. Oh mein Gott. He's incapable of blushing, but if he weren't, he'd blush. Okay, alles klar. Good God. Are we ready? I want to unplug the microphone now. Yeah. Last words. Vielen Dank, Martinez. Ah, oh, das war irgendwie schön. Ich freue mich, dass wir das jetzt noch gemacht haben. Vor allem ist diese Quest, die wir von Anfang an hatten, damit auch endlich erledigt. Unfassbar. Wo ist das? Ach ja, ist das ganz unten? Da, Single Karaoke. Schön. Dann bedanke ich mich herzlich fürs Zuschauen. Ich wünsche euch alles Gute und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Bis dann. Macht's gut. Ciao.